So what have you been working on? Okay, it's uh, the table I found in the book of Exodus. So let me share screen. I didn't get it annotated yet, but it is, uh, the key term is Mashiach Yahuwah. So Messiah Yahuwah. And wow. it's in the, the red <clears throat> going vertical here. And uh, has a lot of a lot of interesting words in it. So I will start with. Okay, I'm going to start with. Uh, well, I'll tell you first of all, it's a skip of 396. So it was all multiples of three. I thought it was cool for the for the Trinity for. It's one of the father's numbers, I believe, is three. And in, in the blue, starting, let's see, it's uh, here on the, close to the bottom on the right-hand side is uh, the word prophetic. It, it's noon, bet, aleph, aleph, yod. Okay, so prophetic. And so the, the prophetic verse... Um, that I'm going to share with you is from Isaiah 7:14, where it talks about the the virgin will conceive and give birth. And so I found uh, a virgin or maiden, and it is in the pink uh, on the right hand side. The thula with, starts with the bet, ta, going down diagonally. And a really cool anomaly is the, sa the exact same skip as the access term, 396. Uh, there is pregnancy. And it starts, what direction is it going? It starts with the hay. So it's actually in the line of the virgin. Like it, wow. it, if you draw a line, you can see it touches it. Mm -hmm. So that's um, pregnancy or gestation. And then also up above in the other pink is the word ovulation. Oh, how crazy is that? And that's when a woman is ready to get pregnant, right? Yeah, when she's those first two letters, Bet Tov is daughter. So you got, oh. yeah, Bet Tov is daughter in Bethula. Oh, wow. Okay. That's kind of cool. Hmm. <clears throat> the interaction there is amazing. So it's also the skip of 396. So the same as the access term. And there, it's touching um, the Thula as well. So those three pink words are interlinked. Um, then I'm going to kind of change a little bit of gears here. I found some some words you know how in the bible people's names have so much meaning um i found some names they all start with aleph let's see here but i want you to think in terms they, they can relate to us but i'm thinking in in terms of this code i'm thinking of the mashiach i'm thinking of yehoshua right. okay so he can say this of these names um Let's see, we've got up at the, in the green, this dark green is Ariel, A, uh, Aleph Resh, Yod, Aleph Lamed. Ariel means Lion of El, and that's what Yehoshua is. And uh, I pointed out in another table too, this is one of my favorite names <laughs> um, for Yehoshua. And it's also a name for Jerusalem. So you see how Yehoshua is Ariel, and so is Jerusalem. So the bride and the groom are one. Do you, do you see how I'm yeah. seeing that in my mind? Right. But uh, so <laughs> I, that's one, one of the reasons it's one of my favorite names. Um, and I, 
love the city of Jerusalem and I can't wait to see the new Jerusalem, which will be the bride. So it's hard to wrap the mind around, but uh, anyways, that's one name. And another is... Okay, it's further down uh, the second half to the bottom. It starts with the Aleph, kind of in the middle, in the center. Abiel, going across to the left. And it means, El is my father. Oh, wow, well, yeah. So how many times did Yehoshua say that when he was here? My father, you know, and he taught us the prayer and... Um, Okay, so then we also have in the yellow, starting with the Aleph, Areli. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, um, but it means the light or vision of El. And Yehoshua told us he was the light. You know, I am the light. He who follows me will not walk in darkness. Um, and to go along with the light of El, is um, menorah was twice in this table. It's the orange going, um, starting here with the mem, menorah going to the left. And it's also just three, uh, three lines down. Here is the mem, and it, it's a bigger skip, but it's going to the right, menorah. And the menorah gives off light and uh, light is well the word is illuminate and it's in the yellow starting with the late uh yeah the lay med going across to the right okay um another name there there were five names that that i put in the table um or that sorry Yahuwah put in the table, and he let me find. <laughs> um, Abiel is, or sorry, no, this is Abiathar, starting with the teal, Aleph, going up diagonally. And Abiathar uh, was the name of, I think he was a high priest. Um, the name means Father is Plentiful. And one more name. is way at the bottom in the red. Oh, wait. That, I, yeah, okay. I messed it up a little further, or a little before. Abiel, this is Abiel. This is El is my father in the red. So which one did I? Oh, Abiram, where was that one? Anyways, Abiram is in here. <laughs> and it, it meant, uh, my father is exalted. Mm -hmm. Abiram. Oh, it was in the, yeah, okay. It was the blue. I gave you the wrong meaning for that one. Sorry. The blue going to the left. My father is exalted. All right. And then okay, I want to show you a cool cluster. Um, Okay, I told you that the skip was 396, and I found out that the Strong's number, uh, 396, means a meal, something that you can eat. So wow. it, uh, this, this whole table, I should tell you, uh, is in Exodus 15, 9 to Exodus 20, verse 23. But the access term itself, just from you know top to bottom of access term, is found just in Exodus sixteen twenty nine to Exodus eighteen twenty six. So it's two chapters um, for the access term. So within the lines of the access term that cross over, um, there are three verses that talk about. Uh, two of them talk about the bread of heaven, the manna. That was given. So um, the first, uh, the yod, yod coming down, it 
Oh no, pardon me. It's the mem, the very top one. It uh, it's where the father introduces that he's going to give them bread from heaven, and then wow. the the yod, the um, two letters down. That's where Moses is told to smite the rock of Horeb, and that the water will come out. And and that that verse is crossing right over there, <laughs> uh, and then. A little bit further down, oh, the last letter is the hay. And it talks about um, Jethro, Yithro, bringing burnt offerings. And he's going to share bread with uh, the elders of Israel and Moses. So that's all about eating. So that's not it. it uh, okay, what I want to do... At this point, maybe I should leave that to the end because I was going to change the screen so you could see it close up. Mm. I'd have to stop sharing, right, and go to another one. Okay. Just because it, it was nice to see really close up. Okay, sure. Okay. So this is the cluster here that I want to show you. And there's a lot of overlapping going on and a lot of really neat words. So that's our access term starting with the purple mem going down. Mashiach, Yahuwah. No, we're not seeing it yet, Anne. Oh, you're not? Mm -mm. Oh, pardon me. Let's see. What did I do? How about that? There we go. Okay, so the purple mem is the start of the access term, Mashiach Yahuwah. Now this line is really busy. It's got a lot of, of overlapping going on. And uh, we have, uh, let's see, I'm going to start with this hay, the blue that's up over top. It's um, hay and then this mem that's in the teal, and yod mem. That is the water. Wow. Okay. And then in the light teal is life. And it's, it's life is in the water. You see that? That's awesome. Going down vertically. And the life is also the skip of 396. <laughs> so the living water. And that's what Yeshua said he was. Okay, that's awesome. living water. And then, <laughs> this, sorry, this kind of really, okay. Okay, you've got the, the het there. And just one to the left is a lamed. So lamed, het, mem. That's how you spell lehem, which is bread. So it form, if you look at the life, and the bread, the bread it forms a perfect cross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The bread of See life. See that? Yeah. That's amazing. And also, also, <laughs> you've got the bread right there. And in the exact same line, there's two shemims. Okay? Starting with the purple, the purple, the yod, the mem. There's shemim. So bread of heaven. And it's also on this side, on the left side of the the bread, you've got shemim. It's in the plain text, but going backwards. The blue, wow. the blue, the pink, the orange. So that, it balances it out. Um, so that's in keeping with the Strong's word 396 <sighs> being something edible, you know, something you can eat. The theme. It just, it's, it's all interlinking. And... Uh, it's incredible the number of facets that are connected, huh? Uh-huh. Yes. And then also in this line are uh, two more words. Um, okay, so that's Mashiach there. But also in that M helps to form Messianic going to the left. Mem, Shin, Yod, Chet, Yod. That's Messianic. Wow. And then... 
There's also Semitic from the line of Shem. And it starts with uh, the pink, the pink shin, shin, mem, yod, va, ta. So that's Semitic. So that's that little cluster. A lot of. It's very good that you're picking up on these, the little details and clusters. Yes. Yeah. Mm. That's the direction the father took it in. So now I'm just going to go back and I'll share uh, the other terms. Is it showing up? Yep. Okay. So at the top in the green, the light green on the left, we have Aramaic mm -hmm. going across to the right. And then in the uh, the mauve, like the light. Oh, sorry, I should uh, give precedence to this. Yeshua is at the very top in purple. Um, at the very top. And then halfway down in the table is Yehoshua. And it's in the plain text because this is talking about Joshua. Um, and let's see. Uh, in the, uh, going back to that mauve, that light purple here, is uh, mitzvah which means commandments or commandment and the commandments, where do they come from? They come from the Torah and Torah is in the light green, ha Torah, a skip of 396. <laughs> um, in the orange, here with the white lettering is to rain uh, starts with the lamed going over to the left in the brown starting with the the hay going up diagonal to the right is the covenant very good um, the green in, in the, the center of the table going across uh, horizontally is to believe, starting with the mem, Aleph mem, to believe, and it touches the access term. Um, in that same line, starting with the mem, the pink mem here, it's very light, harder to see, but that's Moriah. That's where Abraham sacrificed, was going to sacrifice his son. And they say where the temple was built. So Yeshua died very close to there, if not on that mountain. Um, the purple on the right here, that is uh, a kingdom, starting with the mem, going down. Uh, we also have in the peach over, uh, it starts, sorry, it starts with the Aleph. Now, this is a word that isn't in the Bible, but it is um, human. And that's what Yeshua was by birth, you know, he was fully human, fully divine. Um, so, yeah, it starts with that peach Aleph, oops, and goes over to the left. And I think we're almost done. Oh, okay, hang on. Okay, I have s some more words that are 396. So let's go over those. Up at the top left is shepherd, cool. starting with the resh. And it's, it's here, and it's also at the opposite side, um, diagonally. Uh, wait, how would you say that? Roya? Roya. Okay. Very similar so, to Roya, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Huh. 
Mm. And so, you know, the father, it talks about in, in the Tanakh being our shepherd and Yeshua told us he was the Tob shepherd. Um, and then in the, uh, okay, we already went over life, living, and then in the black is sin, and uh, the white with the blue lettering is mercy. Mm. Um, and going down to this like burgundy color is warrior. And it talks about, I think even in the Song of Moses, I forget where, but it talks about Yahuwah being a warrior. <coughs> and then tree is in the brown, kind of the brownish green over here. And it's this, the same skip, 396. So, you know, the, the, the sin was put on the tree yeah. with Yeshua. And... Uh, yeah, I think that covers that. Very good. I love the fact that it's all in a very small area. 396 is con considerably, it's very small area. Like she said, one chapter, two chapters, um, and then all of these uh, vertical terms that she's found in there. It's just completely amazing. All related. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, the bottom row. Thank you. Very good. Sorry, the bottom uh, brown is the word burial. Because uh, Yeshua was buried, but they couldn't keep him down. <laughs> that's right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Okay. So that's that's that. Thank you, Yeshua. Very nice. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs>